Welcome to another episode of Kalahi TV Immigration. Today we are going to talk about the changes in certain fees for the permanent residence application being implemented by the Immigration Canada. According to Canada Gazette, which is the official newspaper of the Government of Canada, Immigration Canada has recommended to the Governor General for the increase or amendment for certain fees for the permanent residence application. Permanent residence fees have not been increased since 2002, even by inflation, and as a result, are no longer commensurate with the total costs of managing and implementing permanent residence programs. So this is to offset the costs of processing and delivery of the services for the permanent residence applicants. These fees include operational, processing, and service delivery costs related to all permanent residence immigration programs. The objective of this regulatory amendment is to reduce the subsidization burden on the taxpayer for permanent resident programs and services. This is achieved through sharing the costs burden more equitably with permanent resident applicants who benefit from the services. So fees for permanent resident applications will then rise every two years at a pace commensurate with inflation. What are those programs that will be affected by this increase in the fees? All economic class programs, with the exception of the two 2019 Federal Caregiver Pilot Programs, the Home Child Care Provider Pilot, and the Home Support Worker Pilot, will be the exemptions. The economic class programs that will be affected with these changes will be the federal high-skilled programs under the express entry, provincial nominees, business programs, the, Atl the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program, the Agri-Food Immigration Pilot Program, and the Quebec's Skilled Worker Program. This also include the Economic Business Class which includes the members or applicants from the Quebec Investor Class, the Quebec Entrepreneur Class, the Startup Business Class, and the Self-Employed Persons Class or the Quebec Self-Employed Persons Class. Aside from the increase in the application fee, the right of permanent residence fee or the RPRF will be increased by will be increased from 490 to 500. As the increase in the RPRF is focused on those who successfully become permanent residents, the intent of this increase is to augment the capacity to defray costs of the permanent residence regulatory scheme, which provides economic opportunity, access to a wide range of programs and services provided by both federal and provincial Canadian governments, and is a pathway to Canadian citizenship. Although the right of permanent residence fee is not directly tied to the recovery of processing costs, it is bound to the overall cost of the regulatory regime for permanent residence. So the modest increase of 2% represents a scalable and progressive approach to compensate for creeping inflationary increases, investment costs, and volume growth year over year as part of the regulatory regime for permanent residents. Certain classes of applicants are exempted from paying the right of permanent residence fee, such as dependent children of principal applicants or sponsors, protected persons, some applicants eligible in humanitarian and compassionate grounds, refugees resettled from abroad, an application for sponsorship under certain adoption and orphan dependence situations. Exempted applicants will be unaffected by this fee increase. Starting in 2020 to 2021, permanent resident processing fees for economic class applicants increase as follows. Fees for per principal applicants 
of the economic business class, including self-employed, startup. Fees for principal applicants of the economic business class will increase 1,050 to 1,575, which has an increase of 50%. Next one, fees for principal applicants of the economic non-business class will go from $550 to $825. This increase will not apply to fees for principal applicants and their families in the caregivers programs, which will remain unchanged. Fees for spouses or common law partners of all economic classes will go from $550 to $825. And also, for the fees for dependent children of all economic classes will go from $150 to $225. As stated by the Canadian Immigration, starting the year 2022 to 2023, Another increase of 2% will be implemented. The possible increase in the fees will be as follows. For economic business class, it will be from $1,575 to $1,640 for 2020-2023 and going up to $1,705 in 2024-2025 and so on. For the economic non-business class, from $825 to $860 in 2022 to 2023 to $895 in 2024 to 2025 and so on. Processing fees for spouses or common law partners of all economic classes will be increased in to approximately $860 in 2022 to 2023 to $895 in 2024 to 2025. Processing fees for dependent children of all economic classes will be increased approximately $235 in 2022 to 2023 to $245 in 2024 to 2025. This change will take effect on April 30, 2020. 20.